Yo, 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 saw and cannibal in there. Here's house. Oh, what up, peeps? Well, I had a good dumpster dive. It was, I'm telling you, torrential rain. So all my goodies were pretty much wet, but got some decent stuff. It felt more back to normal. Uh, I told you the last couple weeks have been pretty uh, low, you know, limited uh, stuff I get. So. But here we got some uh, calendars, the old uh, wipe off calendars, and uh, some of them are dated as far as this year to next year, but some of them you can reuse as far as 90 days or 120 days out to a year, kind of as like projects and stuff. So that was good. Then I got a desktop calendar. Desk pad inspiration. Those are nice. I got some uh, ball pectin here. Liquid fruit pectin. Expired in 2010. I went online to see uh, if this stuff is any good after expired. And I got mixed results on it. Some people said it worked fine. Other people said it didn't work so fine. So I don't know what I'll do with it. And then we got this stuff. Looks like it's for uh, hamsters or guinea pigs. It's got straw in it and food right include it doesn't expire till 2016 so who knows i do know i have a chipmunk out in the front of my uh, porch so i'm probably just going to spread it out there it would be great for the flower bed and i think the chipmunk will love the uh carrot so win-win finally got some candy it's been a while got a mixed hodgepodge of candy here uh Oreos, box of Cheerios, got some iron, some B12. Even if they're open, they usually look fine, and I still use them. I know some people wouldn't, uh, but I'm pretty good at checking that stuff out. Now, here's the funniest thing that I found as far as boxes of candy. Wait till you see this thing. This is the largest box of candy i've ever found and i found two of them look at this thing here let me put uh, m&ms on top of it so you can see how big <laughs> and i got two boxes retail value 24.99 expired in april but i'm sure it's fine amazing and the funny thing too is i always find employees that get their little munch on by the dumpster because they had one of these boxes the whitman sampler two pounds eight ounces that was half eaten so one of the employees got a little sugar rush on their way to the garbage or at the garbage which is fine i'm just i hate seeing waste so if an employee gets to get a little munch on and i see that stuff all the time let me know if you guys uh see that also as far as uh bags that are half open i found some um Chewy candy, like mint chewy kind of candy, spearmint or something like that. You know, the kind that gets all gummed up in your teeth. Half of that bag was gone too. So they, they really got their sugar on. And we got some uh, cereal, honey bunches of oats. I love that stuff. And cocoa uh, pebbles. That's funny. I, I like the whole hunter gatherer thing. I mean, I went out this morning. And this morning we actually had the cereal. I, I took the uh, bag out. You can see that one. I took the bag out and we ate from it. Uh, so I really love that part. And the funny thing too is I used uh, shelf milk that I found like last year. And the stuff's still great. And I still have probably like 15 or 20 uh, quarts of the stuff left. So what a blessing. And then we got our potpourri of... Breakfast bar. Oh, and you know what I'm going to be eating tonight. Look at this stuff. Sea salt, caramel, shortbread. Pure evil. And then we got a little calendar. Half the year is gone already, but half the year is still present. So who knows? Another calendar stuff. It's got pockets for... Uh, all your little projects for the month. That's pretty cool. And then we got the Ghirardelli squares. Oh my god, those are yummy too. Creamy almond crunch. 
Oh, stop it. It's so hard to lose weight with this dumpster diving. Got some dog treats. Some biscotti. I love the biscotti with some nice coffee in the morning. I got some vegetable minestrone, some chicken broth. I got some more uh, breakfast bars. My favorite nasty mac and cheese. A lot of people hate it. I love the stuff I know, full of chemicals and all that other garbage. I uh, got some cookies, bars, and then a bunch of the uh, pricey Ghirardelli chocolates. And then some of your uh, box store chocolates, too. And I'm telling you, with a touch of sea salt, these box store chocolates and cookies, I seriously think they do a better job than the main brands. And the funny thing is they're usually made by a lot of the main brands. They're con contracted out. So good stuff. But I had just had to show you that uh, huge Joe. Uh, look at this. Here's the couch. And look at how big that box of uh, chocolate is. It takes up a whole section on the couch. <laughs> Amazing. All right, peeps. Hope everything's going well with you and yours. And as always, dive on.